Good morning, afternoon, evening, or nighttime. Welcome back to Hemlock Farm. Joining Seamus on the 12th of summer, year three. We have some exciting things to do today. Let me just rename something really quick. Um, oops, I have cap locks on. One second, one second. E, sorry, I know you can't even see what I'm doing. I just, I was looking at my video recordings folder and I forgot to rename. Oops, um, that's the wrong one. I forgot to rename last episode, even though it's been... Um, summer 11, year 3, even though it's been a day since I've recorded, but I just had the video recording folder open. Anyways, let's say hi to, we have a strange bun, let's say hi to Leah. We also brought home crab bait with us, whoops. There you go, yeah, no worries, looks like we have 53 key beans. Oh yeah, sweet pea, thanks Leah. Oh, I was just trying to say hi to you. Thanks Leah, so kind of you. Let's unpause time before I forget and goof up. Um, yeah, and let's start our day. We have something exciting to check out. We have star fruit up. It is a star fruit kind of day. 935 base star fruit, not including um, the multi yield that we will be getting from them. These are done in three days, which is very exciting. We're gonna go, they kind of look like pumpkin sprites. Drop that off, but what I wanna see that's really exciting is if we go down here to our arboretums, I have figured out how to retexture them. Look at them. These are our arboretums. So I used L seasonal um, buildings and I just used the cabin textures so that they match all of our other buildings and they're totally still accessible. We still got the kind of weird glitch where we kind of finish one tile ahead of where we should. But yeah, we can totally access these and now they fit with the, the building style a little bit better. I am so happy. I had to um, <laughs> had to go into my work laptop because it has Photoshop on it and use it. Because I think the last time I tried to do it when I was talking about it, um, I I was using like an oh my gosh, we have so much iridium. I was using just like an online. Excuse me, photo. Where's our? Oh, did we store a coal? I was using an online photo editor, which. I think just like really severely reduce the quality when it output it so I went on to Photoshop to use I did I need 441 coal from here nope nope not that either 441 um yeah like it would like when I exported it the quality just like diminished rapidly like it didn't keep it like it couldn't register an individual pixel I think so that's why it just kind of suffered but um yeah, so we have re-edited it, and Wildflower, um, they did say that we were able to reskin it. Like they said, they even suggested how, so I know that's that's allowed, basically, for that mod. Um, and it's nice, just because I'm like, I'm, again, I wasn't really the pastel colors, just didn't really fit well with the kind of aesthetic we were personally going for. So that's why I was so focused on doing that. Um, let's grab all of you. Dunk. And we have something else exciting. Oh yeah, I didn't change these buildings because I kind of like the, the dark ones tucked away here. But we have something exciting, another exciting thing to check out. And that is our grown-up trees. Look at them. Oh my gosh, we have so, oh my gosh, an amazing amount of income of resource trees now. Um, and there may be more resource trees, but we finally get, was it, 14 ebony wood? seven sandalwood and seven black bamboo every single day now that was the animals opening which is amazing that's so exciting okay so one thing that i want to do which is probably more of a decorative feature but it definitely is a functional one is we are going to quote unquote use the tree transplant mod because now that these are grown up we can move them around and one thing I was thinking is honestly squishing them together like so. Because then harvesting them will be a bit easier. And this just like, it's like a, they can fit within the plots. We need, actually, let's move them down one so that they all just fit in the plot a bit better. Um, so yeah, we are definitely going to have to... I'm going to keep getting ahead of myself. I can't see anything with these sandalwoods here. And there, and there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14, there we go, yeah. So we have extra trees, which is okay, um, because we are going to probably do the same thing here. Maybe I'll just put this one like that for now. Yeah, we're gonna have like a pretty dense forest here. And then we'll do down here, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's do seven right there. There, look at that. So we can grow one more there. So that's four this fits 15 up there so i want to do another 15 here honestly um yeah we're gonna have to be getting a little bit creative with how we grow these i might move these back one too just so that we can grow in more ebony wood a bit better but yeah they should produce because it's only they're growing is when they get a bit moody but um this is definitely a very modded thing on this you know this is um you can get like a tree, fruit tree, tweaks or whatever mod to be able to do this, but we are not. Um, what would that be? One, two, so we can plant seven more here. Because then that would be here, right? Like one, two, here. And then it would be one, two, here, which I think is too close to these. Yeah, so we need to move these ones all down one, two. Which is fine for now. But yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of fun designing this and making this a bit more functional in terms of maximizing the space we can get out of it. And we're really only gonna be doing this for like the resource chest, like all of our oops. Other ones, we are not gonna be doing this, I think. Like we'll just kind of leave them in their little plots, if that makes sense. Um, we might even just grow one, two, three, four, five, even 15. I don't know, we'll see. Um, but yeah, we can keep this now because the reason why I'm doing this is because now we can just pop up and go blah, 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 and one, two, three, dig it up, one, two, three, dig it up, right? Um, one, two, plant, one, two, plant. So that plants here, and there'll be one, two, here, and then plant. Yeah, so we can fit another um, seven, fourteen. And then we'll have to grow a couple more to fit them in, which might get a little cozy. We might have to get a little creative because that'll be 1428. So yeah, we'll have to grow two more after that. But yeah, we're going to leave those like that for now. We can go and buy some more trees um, soon. Not right now, but soon. Those are looking okay. Let's go do animal stuff before we harvest all of these. But yeah, again, I know that's kind of... Oh, my truffles. I didn't want... Oh, yay, our second... Ostrich has grown up. Oh my gosh. Let's go and get our... Um, I didn't really want to pick up these truffles. Hello. I can't remember what I called you. Tyrolite. Tyrolite? Tyrolite. Tyrolite. Um, where's Fiernan? There's Fiernan. Oh, we have an Amanita on us. When did that happen? Oh, what did you want? Oh, the jelly. That's right here. Yay. Yasset, what a good day for, like, everything, hey? And we just got a row that we can... Oh, we got, like, a bunch of row. Put that in there. Oops, we didn't even drop off all of our stuff in our chest. Oh, one of them's iridium. That's cool. Didn't we only put in gold quality? I didn't know that we could get, like, a higher quality. Anyways, let's go and drop off these resources and see what we can craft up here. Donk. So we have... 959 stone so we could technically craft the um the slime hutch okay oh let's go and see what quarry land is looking like because i don't actually know what it will look like Eh, pretty empty let's go to shed land next grab our quartz for the day Cool. And tuck them away. And let's do some coal. Donk. Where is our. There it is. <clears throat> mm hmm. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Stash all that. We have 172 coal in there. We're also plowing through our 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 wood in there, so we're gonna have to. I mean, when we use up the wood in there, we use up the wood in there. I love these so much. They look so good. I hope you all like them too. How did our? Oh, it's because never mind. I'm just confused because our spicy Eland triple shot espresso are in our different locations than what I'm used to. 14 times 15 is what? Like a lot, hey? 14 times 10 is 140 plus 15 is 155. 155,000 for 14. Um, what are those things called? Ebony trees. Which is quite expensive. However, we do have 935 starfruit. Oh, is that not our... Where's our mushroom chest? Here it is. We have 935 um, starfruit that we're probably going to sell all of it and then buy more and replant. Um, speaking of which, I should probably go buy those before I pick them, hey? But I'm here because I want to do crab pots first. Let's do the crab pots. I'm going to grab the spade, sure. Did we pass out? I think we passed out, right? Did we? We did empty our... Level seven fishing, yay. Keep walking, Vincent, I don't want to give you bait. Cause that would be tragic. There we go, and then we'll sort this all and we'll bring the 772 bait with us. Cause I think I, have no bait down here currently. Whoa, forage. It's, yeah, it must be, yeah, the ocean forage time. Did we? Yeah. Okay, we'll take a quick spin around because there might be some unique Raphidax forage that we can check out with this green ocean water. I don't know. It's like very green, hey? I think it's a different shade because of Vibrant Pastoral, because usually it's a bit more vibrant, more sea foam color, I would say. We'll go check out Traveling Merchant too, see what she's got in store for us. Yuki. We're gonna be picking up this urchin. If we whether we want to or not, so we'll just pick it up now. <laughs> Oops, I didn't reload you. There we go. Maybe we'll get level 8 today after we do the reload, hey? Busy day. Busy just picking everything up, so I'm sorry. Again, this is one of those. It's a harvest day. It's a harvest day. I love how we are, like, we're a master fisher, master crop grower. Like, we're just, like, we're knocking off everything here, hey? Do, 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 do. That'd be cool is if you got like double the XP on these like um like whatever these are called, the crab ocean days. I don't know what the if there's a certain name for it. The increased ocean forage days. It's just like whoa, the ocean's being quite bountiful, so you get double the experience from I don't know. We also have not gotten any iridium quality fish from this hay. It's like the max we can get is gold. Which is fine. I mean, maybe that's just a little too OP. Like it messes with the balancing a little bit. I don't know, but I was just noticing that. Um, I have a question though, and that's if this is giving us, whoops, the max 
fish. No, so I, I have no clue, like, because you can't fish up those fish. So I think those might just be ones, because the, the main reason why I'm so focused on it is because there's, like, a perk where, depending on the size of the fish, you get certain benefits. Okay, and we'll put the bait back in this one. Yep, and is that everything? Yes, minus the urchin, but that's okay, because we're going to go around and pick up a bunch of... Oops, not salad. We are going to run around and pick up all this loot, too, just in case. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's all pretty straightforward, but I don't know. Maybe you can make coral wine or something. Who knows? I mean, there's a lot of you that know. I don't, though, so... I'd rather have these on hand and just hoard them as the, as I do with a lot of things. Um, so that if we need like 200 coral for a project, then we will have it eventually. I mean, we definitely don't have 200 now, we have 36, but still. Um, is that everything? Yes, okay. Let's go back to the farm so we can go to the desert. I'm grabbing a quick drink. Sorry, I'm going to grab a few and we don't need to teleport. I'm going to try and not teleport all the time. Just so it isn't a teleporting game. We're not just teleporting left, right, and center. <laughs> and desert. Oh yeah, you're not going to like it. You're not going to like me. There we go. 935, 935, 935. Hi, Sandy. Can I purchase 935 starfruit seed from you? Yikes, that brought us down to under 2 million. Oh, right, I forgot that we... There's little particles that do their... Oops. Do their boops when we do that. Okay, and we are going to start replanting these. The process begins. It is also 11.50, so it's almost noon. So we're going to be dipping into cinder sap when that hits noon. Which will be soon. I mean, we are kind of pausing time every harvest, but still. I think, is it any time afternoon or does it have to be right at noon? Okay, we'll finish this row and then we'll keep going down. 66 star fruit harvested so far. Let's keep that in our brains. Please don't turn 12, 10. Please don't turn 12. Nice. Yay, there we go. Um, Leah, how much longer will this be? My knees are quivering, my thighs are whimpering, and I've lost all sensation in my foot. <laughs> Poor Marnie. Just keep perfectly still, Marnie. No squirming. Hey, Seamus, what style do you think I should do? I'm up for anything. Oh. Mm. A classic country portrait. I think that would fit our house. Stick with the classic look, huh? Yeah, I think Marnie will appreciate that. How's your coming? How's yours coming along? Um, I'm trying my best. <laughs> hey, that's all I ask. If you keep trying your best, you can't help but get better at it. Oh, I love that. That's so nice. Thanks, Leah. Make me look good. Shh. <laughs> now, don't forget the techniques I taught you. Broad strokes. Hold the brush like so. Sorry, I was drinking. <laughs> Oh, I don't like that noise for the paintbrush. There. Oh. I love it. That's going up in my room. Now let's see what you've got, Seamus. Is mine the one that's... <laughs> Uh, it's uh, it's interesting. That's a different kind of approach for sure. Let me see. <laughs> Marnie, you can hang both of these in your room. Uh, Seamus, why don't you go ahead and keep yours? It might be nice to, uh, own your first thing you ever painted, you know? <laughs> hmm. 
That's funny. I think that's the first time I've ever done the... I don't know what event that is. That the 14 heart event with Leah. Like, I've never actually done... I've never married Leah in any of the playthroughs. This is the first time marrying her, so I've never actually seen that cutscene before. And now we have, like, a really hideous painting, which I think I will put in the kids' room. Actually, let's go put it in there right now. No. Because the kids' room is not done. What does it say? My first painting. That's so cute. Oh, I don't have any room. Okay, we'll put it right there for now. Do you have textures? Probably. Actually, maybe not. No, it doesn't. That's so funny. <laughs> ah, I love that. Anyways, let's continue. Oh no, I forgot to... Oh, okay, we're going to add them up at the end because I wrote down the 66, but then I harvested a whole row and didn't count it. And I know some of you can just rewind and tell me, but... Um, that's okay. Okay, so my question for all of you today, and I'd love, I'd love to hear the answer, is, um, what is your favorite multi-yield crop to harvest? So by multi-yield, I mean a, not a star fruit. A star fruit in this instance is like a single yield crop, where when you harvest it, you only get one fruit. Um, a multi-yield crop is like a potato, where when you harvest a potato, you get like three or four. Um, but I want to hear what your favorite in is. And it can be modded or unmodded, honestly. That's totally fine. Um, just add in some diversity. Um, we are watching a modded playthrough, so that'd be cool if some, some of y'all talked about modded. But I'm curious. Um, and even things like fiber can count, right? Like, scything fiber. Um, I think that's my favorite. One of the other ones that was like, I was not expecting was... Was that year two winter when we planted all that barley oat or whatever it was? And like, oh my gosh, scything that barley, there was so much. I was like, it like froze my game for a few seconds. And I was like, ooh, this is so satisfying. So I'd say that's probably one of my favorite ones to harvest. Definitely not visually, but just to like harvest. Because it was so, there was so much. There was so much. <laughs> Bonk, de bonk, bonk, bonk. My eyes are on fire. My allergies have been really bad lately, and like I'm feeling it in my eyes where it's like that dry, itchy, like irritated kind of eye. Where it's like, oh, I need to put in drops. Like I'm like squeezing, like squinting, but like squeezing them closed. I don't know how to explain it. Um, I don't know. I, I have like, I suffer from allergies from like everything, like seasonal allergies, pet allergies. Um, like dust allergies, smoke allergies especially, and not just like like people smoking allergies, but like campfire, like burning wood smoke is really bad. Um, and then of course there's all like the food intolerances too, of course, right? But um, but yeah, no, it's like definitely like the seasonal and pet, I feel like are the ones that affect me the most. And even dust, right? If there's like a lot of dust. But when my eyes burn like this, it's usually from like pet dander. Like I'm really bad with dogs for some reason. Dogs get to me so bad. And but it's funny because I actually haven't been around a dog for um, like quite some time, like well over a week. So I don't know. And I know there's a you know sometimes people in the public just they have dog fur on their clothes or whatever. But I really wasn't in a place. Um, I was at work today, but no one there to my knowledge has a dog or is like dog sitting or anything so i don't know the inexplicable um if you suffer from dry eyes due to allergies i would love to hear what sort of mitigations or potential solutions you use as well um because i do use eye drops like i love sustain sustain works really well but i don't want to like be putting eye drops in every single day for the rest of my life kind of thing like <laughs> Or even if it's like you have allergies, some steps you've taken to reduce the symptoms, right? Like if you've done more of a restorative process or whatever. Like I know that, I know I could clean up my diet, let's be real. But, because <laughs> allergies suck. It's just your body freaking out over something that it thinks is threatening it. It's like a defense response. And I love har harvesting starfruit too. And yeah, I think we're totally fine. Like I was considering putting on fast animations on this playthrough, but it's like, eh, no, we can take the time to harvest the starfruit. Like whatever, you know, take the time to do the crab pots. We can take the time. Like we're, why are we, why would we be in a rush? Hey, 
Not on this playthrough. The whole point of this playthrough is to extend its lifetime for as long as we can. And I know we've rushed some stuff, but that's just because I'm excited to experience it. But things like harvesting crops, eh, the time pauses, right? We started at like 1140, I think, and it's only been two hours and we've harvest harvested. Oh no, we have an odd amount. I missed a spot. I should not have an odd amount of seeds in my inventory. We'll go to back and take a look. Oh my gosh, I'm like detective skills. And some of you probably know exactly where it is already because you saw it happen. But I wasn't paying attention, so I don't know where it is. But we will figure it out because... Actually, no, I should have because 935... Right, I should have an odd amount because of this rare crow here messes us up. Actually, no, I should have an even amount because that field would be an even amount. I don't know. We have the time. I'm gonna have to look up, what is it again? It's 200 stone, one iridium bar, and I can't remember what else for the slime hutch, but I'll Google it once I'm done harvesting. Don't wanna mess with the flow that we currently have going. Saw that one. Um, we're doing pretty good. Starfruit, starfruit just looks really nice. It would have been nice if there was like one comparable crop per season for Rapidax. Um, maybe even like a little bit better, but then the seeds cost more because the starfruit seeds cost what two hundred gold. I don't know. You get what I'm trying to say though, right? Where it's like, okay, it takes around the same, like, if you look at the gold per day, it would give more gold per day, but the cost of the seeds is much, and there might even be some of that. I haven't really explored too much in depth with like the pumpkins and such, um, but that'd be nice because then you know, it's like, okay, well, these are obviously not an early or mid game crop because you can, like, if they're like $4,000 per seed, you can't buy a lot of them. And grow a lot of them however the ones that you can grow will definitely benefit you because it has the most yield and again there probably is crops i just haven't haven't experienced it myself because i know there's the glass pumpkins there's the golden pumpkins i just don't know if there's like a summer equivalent which just because the watermelon takes like 20 days right and it, it produces the equivalent i don't know um and maybe it was the like there's a there's an mj summer equivalent too i think somewhere so maybe that's it the way that it'll go is like just growing like the weed plants i don't know three more rows we have 53 seeds left is that enough seeds why do i feel like that's not enough seeds Definitely on like our to do though, like right under reference, 935 plots. So I am not too sure. Look up the slime hutch. Look up the slime hutch. Whoa, sorry for the gates, ma'am. Okay, so now we can actually check off Cinder Sap. And let's take a look. Oh, let's take a look at how many we got. So out of 935 crop, like plots, we got 330 plus 330. What the heck? Plus 351 plus 127. We got 1,138 minus 935. We got a 203 additional star fruit. And I'm pretty sure that's all of these because I think we only get base quality from that additional harvest. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So what did I say again? 200, 200, 203 and these sell for 562 each times 562. We got an additional $114,000 simply just because we have a Margo perk. That's the power of that perk. And we, oh shoot, that's what I was gonna do. We have not even, um. we don't even have like the 
We didn't choose the prestige skill for it, but speaking of the prestige skill, I'm thinking we are going to go and choose that prestige skill. I need to find... Oh wait, we got rid of all our seeds. Apparently we were. Why was it odd there? Because it was odd number. Never mind. I'm losing my mind. Um, slime hatch. Slime hatch start you. And let's grab the stuff because it's 310. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Um, refined quartz. It's 10 refined quartz. There we go. Okay, so 500 stone. And then it is one iridium bar and 10 refined quartz. Okay, let's go and see where the heck we can fit this kind of thing on our farm. Hmm. Because I'm not too sure. And yeah, we're not going to be seeding any of these star fruit. We're just going to sell them. For that pure profit. Okay, eight one. Let me write this down. Eight, because I want to see how much total we make. Eight, one, eight, nine, one, four, seven. Wait, I missed a number in there. One, eight, nine, one, four, one, seven, one, four, one, seven. One, eight, nine, one, four, one, seven. Okay. And let's sell, 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 sell. 2.7. Okay. So we have two seven four four three four minus wait so I missed a number in there. It's two seven four four three four four. I think I missed a four at the end minus one eight nine one four one seven. We made eight hundred and fifty two thousand dollars off of that. Which I don't know about y'all, but I'm happy with that. Um, I was gonna go take a look at Mephisto just because he has. Um, he has some seeds, like these glass pumpkin seeds. Take 20. It doesn't say the heart. Oh, it does. They're right there. 937 takes 20 days. So that's like, ooh. Um, those are like watermelons, but they definitely sell for more. These, I think, are just decorative. Rare seeds, of course, are really great. Um, do you, are these all the same here? Yes. Hopper is nice. Crystallarium. Crystallarium would be really nice if we, um, if we were able to get garbage, like, like all garbage from not loading up the trash bins, you know, or the crap pots, sorry. Um, cause it took, it took the glasses, but we, we don't have like hundreds upon hundreds of those glasses where if we got just garbage and not like because we got like it was like 95 percent algae when we did the town testing no robin why would you do this to me i am so upset robin oh gosh okay not building that today um let's check what's going on in here these are at seven days cool all right, we need to keep the stuff on us though, which is gonna be so hard because I'm gonna want to auto sort it. Um, one thing that I'm gonna want to do is buy or not buy, make. I think three will be good. Three iridium sprinklers. This might eat the. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was gonna eat the thing in our inventory. Um, how are we doing here? Eight seeds. Okay. Um, so we want to get one more iridium bar. There we go to replace that one that we just used. And then I want to donk to hot houses. Um, I'm going to look at retexturing this as well because I'm not entirely happy with it. Ooh, an extra. Oh, I forgot we got extra crops from these. And 35. Not bad. Let's go and first put down oh shoot i didn't realize we had two sprinklers here now i need to make one more because that's gonna bug me let's go and re let's go and seed these actually not reseed them just seed them um horse we're gonna make one iridium sprinkler so then we have six there which might be overkill i don't know six times 24 though is not enough 
We're gonna need like 10. Um, one of you. And grab one of you back. We're gonna have to smelt a whole pile of iridium. Holy. Um, and let's turn these into seeds. And while those are happening, let's actually take a peek in here. Let's look at how much it costs to make a geode crusher. No, you need stone and you need gold and you need diamond. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Um, where can I put the, these items while we're waiting? No, we'll just be patient and wait for tomorrow. I also need to go check out traveling cart before she closes for the day. Oh, this is what happens when you have the inside time that's slower. Forty-seven from that. We're at a hundred. Wow, like a hundred flat. All right, we'll take those. I'm gonna crank this. How do I? I wanna crank this up. There we go. Oops, knocking things over. I'm waiting for these seeds because I want to plant them. We're going to go visit Traveling Cart um, after this first. Just because she closes at 8. So I want to make sure that we can go there just in case she has a salmon or a squid. Just in case. Oh yeah, we need to retexture our friends here too. Oh, hello. A golden antler just sitting on our farm. Whoa, 1,125. That feels like, I feel like we need to put that in our treasure chest. I want to ship it though, but we'll put it in our treasure chest. Um, fish, fish, fish. Fish, fish, fish. I don't see any fish. A blue potato. We grew like thousands of those, like thousands of them in the winter. That was like an eternity ago. Hey, that's like, that's over a month of in, like in real life time away. Um, let's go put this golden antler up here just cause it's fun and gold. So sounds like it'd be something that goes there. Okay. And now we can go to hot houses once again. Dunk. Just so we don't have to run through a million farmlands to get there. And sprinkler, where are you? Just so this is evened out. Bonk. And bonk. And another bonk right here. There we go, and let's plant all of these. Yeah, six times 24 is less than 125. Okay, <laughs> mm -hmm. then we have a couple more things to do after this. One of them is crab pots, that's for sure. 53, not bad. These are very blue. Nice. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good, I would say. Um, what's the other thing that I wanted to do? What's the other thing I wanted to do? Uh, oh, yeah. Jeez, why am I trying to summon Fiernin when he's literally standing in front of me? Mm -hmm. Man, I am kind of bummed that we weren't able to build... Um, The slime hutch today. Whoa, everyone is in here. Too bad that we don't need to actually talk to anyone. 93, Duke. There we go. We're a quarter of our way to the gold clock, and we are going to be trying to save a decent amount of mon our money now. I know that we're doing kind of like a tree project, but um, instead of saving money, let's spend some. Um, yes, and I would like to proceed you. Oh, and we can't do that yet. Shoot. Ah, I actually wish we could have done that. That's fine. Um, I could have canceled all of that, but I forgot to do that. Like for how long, how many episodes now? Like a week's worth. Um, let's do these cause these are ready. 
And this will get us to level eight fishing, maybe. Grab some speed. Whoops. Grab some speed. Feels like we are not going to the mines. We will go look. Did we put more gold on? I can't remember what we pulled it on in the furnaces. But we'll go and take a peek and start smelting up some other goodies in there. these trees so bad because I'm pretty sure the trees are what will help us with the trash bear that's where my brain was going yeah to really yay level eight fishing already on summer 12 even though we got that's like it's actually like level like 18 fishing in terms of how much we've done this season alone hey i know it doesn't equate to that because there's you know an e exp difference once you go beyond level 10 but still all right um once we smelt the iridium we can go and potentially put some more sprinklers on the right side of the farm just to lay them out not actually like plant anything yet i don't know because we're gonna either want to wait until the watermelon the current watermelon harvest is done or still going still going but yeah i'm curious because i've never actually like i've used that modest maps ginger island farm before but like i've never <laughs> played a playthrough long enough to actually fully use the full farm map um or the full yeah like island map on there so that's really exciting but we need iridium for sprinklers that's for sure we've been kind of greedy with our iridium or i guess not maybe not even greedy is the right word because we've been using it if you're greedy we would be holding on to it hey Nighttime water. Back to blue. That scared the crap out of me. There we go. Okay, let's... How do we do? I wasn't paying attention to how much we actually... How much EXP we ended up with. That's okay. Um... The bonk and another bonk there. And let's actually, okay, apparently someone's peering in right in front of the chest. Yep, we're looking good. Wow, like look at that. Hey, that's, oops, look at how crazy that is. 160, 100, 240. We have so many crabs as well. Like we have over 100 of everything in each quality. Oh, you're empty. I wanted this one. This is, this is working up to a two. Like there's obviously some which we don't have a lot of, but like. Oh my gosh, you get so much, so much resources end game with these crab pots. I love that feature. That's so cool. What did I say we were going to do? Oh, we were going to go check our iridium. Check out the smelting, see how that's going. And I do want to go check our tree farm area, both the mahogany trees that we kind of planted um, in the backyard. And then our main tree farm area too and see what's going on there. Oh, okay, everything's up, yay. Iridium. I know that we have like radioactive ore or whatever, but we are very iridium hungry currently. Let's 
So we want to get these three bars next episode because that's probably when they'll be ready. So, okay, so we can't. Oh, shoot. I put the wrong things away. What am I doing? Brain, come back. There we go. Cannot auto stack these. Because then I will stack the iridium and the quartz. Donk, donk, donk. Okay, let's go and check out the backyard. Backyard. Boop. Let's bring Fearnan along. Let's go check out these mahogany trees. I need to pop a... Yeah. Whoa! These grew up so fast. Can we shake them and get more trees? Huh? Y'all didn't... Oh, but there's one right there. Nice. That's what we were hoping for. Is there any more? Yes, there is. Right there. Oh, that's... Right there. And right there. I shouldn't have packed these so densely. I can't see when there's seeds. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we will just continue to let this spread. Speaking of letting things spread. Wow, I can't believe some of these trees are already growing up. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Oh, how did you end up there? And you. There's already some growing in all crazy, hey? Bonk. Bonk. Yeah, that's looking okay. Okay, let's um... Oh, we get key beans from chopping down trees. That's so funny. I was not expecting that. I don't know why, but I wasn't. We can plant these today too, because we haven't actually, like, been it hasn't been a day. A lot of trees right there. Holy, there's like a big, huge packet of trees. that we were still working on our foraging skill i could have been planting a whole bunch of forage hay to help with that but yeah, you live you learn okay there is yeah we need to come down here Still hammering out, sorry. I know it got really quiet there, but for some reason this was like really satisfying and like almost therapeutic. Wow, we need to figure out all of the trees going on here though. So let's pick up all the seeds first so that we can organize our bearings or gather our bearings, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll pick up these two, okay. And we'll do it the normal way. We'll do the seeds, but not all the seedlings. Okay, and let's see if we can down just move some of these around a little bit. Oh, I should get off my axe before we have a situation. Ah! We had a situation.
continue to move around some stuff. <laughs> hey, someone's actually in the right spot. How are we doing on time? 1.30. We're doing okay. We still got a little bit of time. Here we go. 1.40. Can still move a couple. One fifty. It is time to go. No, please don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, thank you, Seamus. Jeez. Okay, and bed. I'm sorry, Leah. I'm coming. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, Radagast. Ah. Of course, Radagast. Hey. Do we expect anything else from Mr. Radagast? Oh, that's a reset. Level seven fishing. Level eight fishing. Mm. Cool. Well, thank you for joining us on the 12th day of summer, year three. Very happy to have you all joining us back. Um, appreciate you stopping by. Um, and appreciate to those of you who actually are starting to interact with um, the videos a little bit with my little questions of the episode or every like by episode. I don't really know how often I'm doing them. Um, but yeah, because it's cool because there's so many of you that watch, but I don't even know, right? I don't even know how many of you are there that are watching. And I know that there's a lot of you out there that are just like kind of like lurk viewers that's me with almost everyone as well like I, I don't really engage with a lot of folks so I totally understand but just know that I am thinking of you even if you're not commenting and I appreciate you watching um but to those of you that are commenting I do I do appreciate that as well that's really fun to be able to get to know you a little bit better as we kind of continue down this story together at this point but anyways I will see you in the next episode until then bye bye for now <laughs>